hi it's vivian the psalm next door tonight i have something planned something different i'm doing a double date with my good friend sheva and jake we are going to be doing an italian night so tyler and i we like to do date nights and a lot of times we like to have them themed so the menu is we got for our appetizers we have some nice good bread with some caprese salad with some tomatoes for my garden upstairs and then for our main we're crazy tyler and i are crazy and we decided to do three different pastas we're doing a pesto with homegrown basil we're gonna do a carbonara and we're gonna do a nice kind of spicy red sauce and then chef and jake are bringing this delicious caramel apple cheesecake but I kind of want to talk about different wines for Italian night. If you guys were to do something similar or just like, you know, you kind of were like, ooh, let's do a theme Italian night. We are going to start off with an Aperol spritz, a nice little aperitif. And then we are going to move on with dinner with a Chianti Classico 2015. And just want to like talk about like Italian wine. So I think the first couple of wines that people think about are Barolos, Barbarescos from Northern Italy. Those are very, like they're delicious. They're, they're delicious. I have one in my fridge that's just waiting for me for my 30th birthday. I'm gonna open it up. The other one that people think about a lot are Brunellos. Brunellos are super delicious. But like if, when you think about those, three, they're pretty expensive. They're gonna pay like 30, $40. So if you want it, if you're, if that's your price range, then yes, please like go get some of those nice wines. Brunellos have a little bit more body. Nebbiolos have actually more tannins. Like they have just have more punch. So if you are having pastas with like meat sauces and like you have a lot more heavier flavors than what we're doing then those could be good ones but i wanted to talk about chianti because i feel like i don't know why chianti is like no longer in vogue anymore but it's a really delicious wine chianti is a region in tuscany which is by florence so middle of italy Chianti is made from a grape called San Diovese. It's a light body, it's high acid, high tannins. It's not really a wine that you wanna drink by itself, but with food, it is so good. With some pasta, it's amazing. It's like it was meant, meant to be. It should taste like tart cherries with some like dried roses, violets, some spices. It's earthy, it's a little smoky, it has like, gaminess to it. Chianti Classical, let's talk about that. Inside of Chianti, there are eight subzones and Chianti Classical is a subzone within Chianti. So Chianti is like greater area and Chianti Classical is a region in there. So Chianti Classical is known for having like higher quality because of like the soil type. It's more, it's like a clay soil which helps like more and more even ripening. So Chianti classical, those are typically a step up than just a regular Chianti. Other subzones that are really good are Chianti Rufino and Chianti Colisinesi. So those are two other subzones that have really high quality. This one says Reserva. So there was an additional two years of aging that happened before this bottle could be released. So that also is like another indicator of quality. So I opened this. So this is 2015. Oh yeah, violets. And it has like a nice earthy depth to it. This one probably, I, I just opened this, but this could probably breathe a little bit more. It holds up so well to red sauces. It's gonna hold up very well to the carbonara. It's, it is so fresh. It's so fresh for a wine that's like six years old. And I think tart cherries is a good word. Tart cherries are like plums in there, but then with like earthiness, like a spicy smokiness uh, that accompanies it, which makes it so tasty. 
So Chianti, they typically don't like to use new oak. They use old Slovenian oak barrels, these huge barrels to age their wines. So you're not gonna get that oaky uh, vanilla flavors in here. Now, if Chianti is not really, you know, it's a little bit too acidic for you, then like I recommend going with a super Tuscan. And basically what that means is Sangiovese mixed with usually Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot, which kind of gives it more body, which kind of rounds it out. So if Chianti is not really your thing, but you kind of want to be in the Tuscan area, then you can do that. If your price point's a little bit higher, then Brunello's are great wines as well. But, you know, Brunello's are amazing because they have to be aged like basically like five years before they're released. And they're just like much richer. Another not so well known Tuscan wine is Vino Nobile de Montepulciano. I know you're like, what the heck did she just say? She just spewed some craziness, but that one's also a really good Tuscan wine. Yeah, so this Chianti Classical is gonna go so well with the pasta. It's gonna pair well, but it's also gonna, you know, refresh your palate in between each bite. I know I'm drinking before the party gets here, but you know, I gotta make sure that the wine's okay, right? Uh, this is Sheva uh, and Jake. Say hi to you all. Oh, oh, we're, we're approaching. We're doing it, yeah, move the camera back, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> now the one cage that you opened, that, there was one that was really intense. Oh, there was an intense oh, one. It like Yay. had like a mocking key or something. Like, it was, like, it was like, hard. <laughs> and then some guy, this like French sommelier was like, that's not how you're supposed to open it. I was like, Never seen it please before. show me. I would yeah. love to know how to do it. <laughs> One. It needs to be all Completely like, co like a, covered. All white. Like I don't want to see any green. Like, <laughs> it's right. not. It's not pesto. Yeah, it's just pesto. actually just cheese pasta. Yeah, it's just cheese. It's a little bit of baseball. I am. I am a fan. Like when I'm in the mood of getting just like butter noodles and putting Parmesan cheese on it and pepper. Cheers. I'm not cheers. Oh yeah. Oh, there are double. <laughs> double drinks. The Chianti's Double drinks. Double Every round we should get a new pasta. drink. <laughs> Every round we should get a new drink. I feel like it's not a terrible idea. That's not terrible. You're the baker? The baker. She makes dinner. Do you watch the British Bake Off? I do not. It was, I was just talking to somebody about watching. Someone needs to do the honors. <sighs> Do it, just do it. What? Come in. Okay, what size slices do we want? Because I want like I a want, I need, slice. I need a small one. Yeah, I, I am so small. Yeah. Dinner's done. Five course meal complete. We're super full. Yeah, we definitely made way too much food. That like, we were like, oh, it's dessert time and I can barely eat anything. But yeah. Italian night, success. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm sorry, my plating was just not on the ball today. I think it was like just hard to get like three pastas because yeah. we're crazy, because we're crazy. Don't do three pastas. That was just like a bad idea. Unless we figure out how to do it later on and tell you how. Or I just need to eventually just have like more burners. But I think for the most part, the, the flow was good. Or I need more plates, I don't know. No, no pictures. And I think my like, yeah, my plating was definitely not that great. It was great. Everything she does is great. Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of the, the date night vlog. Bye. Bye.